You know what? Hello, this is Mr. Ron, aka the Icon, and now I find it's fucked up that another black boy got killed from jogging. You know, just like the Trayvon Martin, you know, when he did his thing, well, he how he got killed. And so many got killed. Police officers jogging, you know what I'm saying? People walking down the street get killed. And police stopping in New York, beat that old, beat that man up because he didn't wear no mask, but like a, less than five minutes away, uh, they was having our face masks, you know what I'm saying? Also, they beat the boys up because there was not prior social distancing. And five, five minutes away, a group of white people was in huddle, now I ain't giving a damn about social, uh, social, distance, so, so, social distancing. Or wearing a face mask, but they still, you know what I'm saying, you still just treat the respect. It's it's, it's sad that because of my skin, I'm classified as a criminal. Just, you don't have to know me, you know, you don't have to, you know, even if Martin Luther King said that you judge by the content of your character, you know what I'm saying? Or, but just because of my skin, it's a stereotype that I'm just a criminal and then I'm nothing more, you know what I'm saying? It's fucked up, but what's making so fucked up that had the boy got kicked out about uh got killed by a shotgun because they quote unquote he fits a sus uh, suspect that black folks, I I give it about four or five months, we won't even give a shit about it no more. We gonna still go on by our business like this shit never happened. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's gonna be so sad because it's gonna be more killer and more black or black crime. And then you would think that all this shit that's happened on the news is not this is not the first time. It been happening since Emmett Till. And Emmett Till was so so it, it was so big because he was young. But it been happening all throughout history for you know racist people killing black folks. But you would think that it would just, that's a, a culture shock for us to stick together, but, you know, coming from Chicago, you you know, you know New York or L.A., Atlanta, I could name Houston, Louisiana, we still gonna kill each other. You know, still people gonna go on, some people to this day probably don't even give a shit. You know what I'm saying? That there's a bigger entity entity out here that's killing us, but we still gonna go on by our business, still kill on black or black crime, we still gonna kill each other for the um regardless of the fact that we gonna still kill each other because nobody gives a shit. It's I gotta get my syndrome and then we'll we have we will gain so much more of us battling together than killing each other. We always we gonna always gonna say bitches ain't shit, niggas ain't shit. We go sex is going against each other, you know what I'm saying, males gonna get each other. It just it just it's amazing to me that how I see how you see life that it's amazing you know you know because it's like racism didn't die if you don't if you believe racism dead then you live in a dream world you know what I'm saying because shit I ain't gonna say Donald Trump is racist but he speak a lot of shit that's going against her. if you don't like a whole race you're a racist you know what I'm saying that just it is what it is it is like don't like China, you don't like Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? You, you're a racist. It's just, it's just what it is. You just don't hate all races, but you're still a racist. And then when he voted that man in, that should have been a sign that, like, you know, America's still racist, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just, we we went too far, but we still got far to go. We just look at the news. It's always somebody killing, killing our kind, you know what I'm saying? And then it is how we just, like Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter should only show up when it's big, you know what I'm saying? And it is fucked up, man. It's, it's sad, man. But like I said, I get about four months. After these people get locked up or if they, if they get acquitted, we're going to go to a war, we're going to have a riot. And we have a riot, we're going to damage our own communities. We don't even go to go out of our neighborhood. We just going to kill our own, our own shit, you know what I'm saying? And then complain to the government why they ain't fishing our shit. It did, but if they get charged, we gonna forget all about it and going on by our business. Like the boy didn't die. We, we it's nothing gonna, really gonna change. We still gonna be black or black crime. We still gonna hate, hate our, our, our our fellow brother. We hate our fellow hate fellow uh, our fellow um, our fellow women, our fellow sisters, our fellow brother. It just 
it's fucking it's silly, man. This shit hurts my fucking heart for real, and that shit be pissing me the fuck off, man. Because I, you know, I don't, you know, I don't believe in this black on black crime bullshit, but it, it, it do happens, and yeah. So that's all I want to say, and God love you.